Hey everyone, Glenn Andrews here from glenn-andrews.com where we help you start and market a blog that makes you money. Hey, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a new plugin. Well, I guess it's not new, but it's new for me. But it's called Comment Love. Now what this does is it does several things. It's designed to help you get more comments from your readers. It entices your, your readers by offering them do follow links. Uh, it offers them uh, the ability to leave a, uh, a post, one of their recent posts or pages right below uh, their comment in on your page. And the same goes for you. There's a whole community, thousands of comment love owners, where you can go to their site and leave a comment and it allows you to leave one of your recent posts or pages, whatever you decide. This way it drives traffic back to your site and it also gives you backlinks at the same time. A lot of these are quality backlinks as well. Page six, page, page five, and page four backlinks. So this is really, really good. Okay, it also allows you to, um, when somebody makes a comment, you'll get a drop down menu, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute. It gives you a drop down menu. They can Google Plus it, they can share it on Facebook, they can like it on Facebook, they can tweet it out as well. Okay, and if they do tweet it out or like it on Facebook, it also, you can set it up to where it allows them to leave a post or page from their blog to your blog. Okay, so it's really cool. It uh, really entices people to take action and get involved, okay? Because there's benefits for you and there's benefits for them. So let's take a look at this real quick. Another uh, key aspect of Comment Love is you, if you have Ask Me on your, com on, your, uh, on your blog, you can pretty much disable it because Comment Love takes care of all the spam through GASP, okay? What it, GASP is, is when somebody goes to leave a comment, they have to check a box, they have to be on your site for how many of our seconds you set it up to be, they have to type into their keyboard at least you know three or four different keys. Okay, so this gets rid of all the spam bot. You don't have to worry about getting spammed anymore. It makes sure that there's a live person who's actually leaving you a comment. So it's really good. Okay, there's main settings. Um, how to set up comment love. I mean, it's really super simple. And I'll even show you exactly what it looks like. Um, let me go and show you what this looks like here. We'll go back here. We'll go here. Scroll down. Here's a, a complete post that I did on it. It'll explain all the benefits to you um, and why you know it's a great idea to have. But if you come down to your comment section on your blog, it'll have comment love here okay you can set this up to, to be a nice graphic like this or you can just set it up to be a text link okay so when somebody goes to leave a comment you can set it up to where they can choose one of their recent posts that they've produced and what this does is once they're done with their comment it'll produce it'll leave a link back to their post back to their blog giving them a do follow backlink if you so to choose to make it a do follow link okay you have the choice to make it a do follow or no follow link okay when you're first starting out and you're first tr trying to get comments obviously you're going to want to leave it as a do follow link okay you'll get more comments that way what this also entices people to do and you can set this up in your back office if somebody clicks on that they like your a post or page that that that'll also allow them to leave um, another post of theirs on your on your blog in your comment section okay same as if they tweet it same as if they like it okay this is encouraging people to do to you know perform a specific task on your behalf 
and it actually does them good at well as well. So it's a win-win situation. So if you leave a comment here, they'll also be able to put, and you can set this up as well inside Comment Love, that if they leave two or more comments on your blog, that they can actually tie keywords into their name. So this way, Google search engine will pick that up and it'll show uh, in the search engines underneath that specific key keyword term. Okay, so there's a lot of benefits to this and I really think you should uh, go to my website and at least take a look at this and see if it's right for you. Now, you know, for some of you, if you need more traffic to your site, um, I have a free guide on here as well that will help you get that. But take a look at this, see if it's right for you, and I think it's really going to help encourage people to comment and get the conversation going, get more engagement going on your site. And this way it's not only going to help you, but it's also going to help your readers. Take a look at it, leave me a comment if you like it, and tweet this out to your friends and share it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.